Good evening. First tonight, it's been 15 years since Barbara Blunt disappeared from her home in Holden. It's a case that seemingly went cold for many years, but as News 2's Nick Perlin reports tonight, the Sheriff's Office says the investigation's picking back up. And yeah, Michael Sylvia, Sheriff Jason Ard says they have received new information in this case. They're hoping it could lead to answers quickly after 15 years of investigating. We are actively working this case. We have never stopped working this case. Livingston Parish Sheriff Jason Ard took to Facebook Tuesday, letting the public know the investigation into Barbara Blunt, a woman who mysteriously disappeared back in 2008, is far from cold. In fact, it's heating up. Ard says the sheriff's office is getting new information that can help detectives crack the case. I have a really good feeling that this is going to put another piece in the puzzle and help us find Barbara Blunt. Blunt was 58 when she went missing from her home in Holden, but little evidence as to what happened was found at her house. Blunt's car was found less than a mile away from where she lived, and search efforts to gather information came up empty. Back in 2015, Blunt's daughter, Christy, told Chris Nakamoto her mother was a kind-natured woman who loved her family, friends, and property. Somebody did something to her, because she would not just get up and leave without telling anybody where she's going. After years of no answers, it seemed the case went cold. But in 2021, Woody Overton, a former investigator and host of a podcast called Real Life, Real Crime, detailed what happened to Barbara on his platform. Little did Christy know that this was the last time she would ever see her mother. Overton telling WBRZ back then he received tips about Barbara's disappearance. Everybody loved her. She was a mother, uh, uh, you know, church going lady, the, a widower. Her husband had died some years before in a tragic accident. Just, just a great person. And she vanished. That didn't just happen. Somebody killed her. They abducted her and they killed her. Still, the case is unsolved. But Art is optimistic that will change with this new batch of information coming in. He hopes to give answers to Blunt's family 15 years later. We want to make sure that we do everything we can to give closure to this family. If you know anything about Barbara's disappearance, Art is asking you to reach out to the Livingston Parish Sheriff's Office. Michael, Sylvia, 